finally here, and she is having way too much fun with the Doyle dog. He's so whittle. <laughs> On the butt, on the butt, scratch the butt. That's what everybody says. He's a little guy. He's really only like 16 to 17 pounds. He's not that big. <laughs> They're having way too much fun together. Who is that? <laughs> okay, so we have decided, hi, we have decided that we wanted to um, make some gummy bear vodka and yes, so Kristen had the bright idea to not do all of the gummy bears but do certain flavors. So we're doing the red ones. Which I think are cherry. Are they? And then oh, these the, are definitely pineapple. So the pineapple ones are like the kind of clear-ish ones. And the green ones are mine. Yeah, so she's living her best life, eating all the green gummy bears. Nobody gets green except me. Yeah, so let's make this stuff. So let's, I've never done this before. Like, mm, yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> I've never oh. done this before either. Oh no. Did you spill it? Yeah. No, it's okay. Is that good? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You gotta let them sit, like, you know. All right. And then tomorrow we drink gummy bear oh. vodka. All right, so this is like a, a process. Well, yeah, because the gummy bears need to infuse. Ooh. There's some infusion happening. All right. Um, so apparently we're gonna report back tomorrow and let you know how this goes. <laughs> this is gonna I be I wonder if the gummy bears will, like, liquefy. Are they, they might expand. It's also a science experiment. <laughs> Science on my channel. <laughs> Something you guys thought you would never see. We're scientists now. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. We'll uh, we'll check back on that at some point. But this vlog is gonna be super random, so buckle up. Hi, we're at the state fair. It's, it's, and we're it in got ponchos. a little wet. <laughs> it's a little wet. I'm really glad that I bought these Dollar Tree ponchos because I kind of like save the day a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Except for your lower half. Yeah. It's. It's a situation down there. <laughs> quite, quite wet. Yes. But we just had cookies and we are on the way to Cookies for breakfast. I know. It's like, what, 10-ish? Something like that? She's got a beer. I know, there's beer here. <laughs> there's like ice cold beer right ahead. Do you see the sign? Like, there's a sign. It says beer. We'll get a beer too for breakfast. Hey. Somebody got a beer. And then we got our cheese on a sticks. I've never. Oh. There's mom! <laughs> yes, so we got this. This is my main reason for ever coming to the fair. Cheese on a stick across from the big giant slide, which is over there somewhere. And deep fried alligator. Yeah, there's alligator. Which we're not partaking. Right over there, too. So, in front of the grandstand. Like Doesn't everything taste like chicken? <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going with our food festivities and I'll keep checking in. It smells good. Never had cheese on a stick. Do you wanna do a taste test live? It's not really live, I guess I'm editing it later. <laughs> you better. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's everything you ever wanted and more. Yep. <laughs> They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. I, what, did you, what did you think it was? Well, I didn't. It was a taco in a bag. Thank you. Thank you much. <gasps> it's so beautiful. I know. That's the Hamburg. We got. <laughs> it's the Hamburg. We have warm Hamburg on the bottom of this. Hamburg. Tacos in a bag. So we're going to eat these now. She's going to take a picture. We are made it to the ride not a lot open, but she's excited. A lot of them are not open because of the rain. It's still raining. Yeah, you know, the swings, the swings. Oh, I hate the swings, they're the worst. All right, so we're leaving. <laughs> we're leaving now. <laughs> Freaking singing in the rain over here is like trying to dry out her stupid umbrella. <laughs> we're heading back to the bus. This way, God, you're so weird. And as per tradition, as 
for tradition. I always gotta get some cotton candy to go. It's like what you have to do. Oh, and I got a sweatshirt too that I'll try to remember to show you, and it's not gray. It's kind of amazing. I got it's really a gray good. one. Oh yeah. She got a gray sweatshirt. And uh, the ponchos are no longer with us. They have died, thank gosh, because yikes. It was a uh, touch and go there for a little while with those ponchos. <laughs> but we're leaving and I will check in later. Hi. Hi. We're back. With the, our science experiment. Yes, so the bears have been sitting in the vodka that you guys saw last night. So about 24 hours. Mm hmm And things have happened on Kristen and Emily's science show. <laughs> Things have definitely happened. Uh, I, I'm looking for a word. I'm, I want to say jellified. <laughs> they have jellified. So let's give you guys a closer look. So that's kind of hard to see on camera. Yeah, we'll see the red. It just looks like mush. Those are a little easier to see. So we put in a little vodka, as you guys remember, and the bears have expanded and taken on the vodka. So they're quite a lot. Lar well, not, they're not a lot larger. I, I didn't know gummy bears were porous like this and yeah. would soak up all the, booze. all the booze. I mean, the bears want to have a party too, so they clearly have been drinking. <laughs> These are drunk bears. These are very drunk bears. <laughs> but we also didn't put in a ton of alcohol in there. I mean, we did. It smells like we put in a ton. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. And it's, um, it, looks, it looks great. So we're going to eat them? Yeah, why not? Let's yeah. try them. Okay. Not two bears. So these are, we think red is cherry, um, I think, and that's pineapple. Yes. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh. Oh, they're kind of hard. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, the, the outside is very, like, mushy, and the inside is very hard. It's bad. Don't do this. <laughs> worst, bad decision. Worst jello shots ever. But they're very alcoholic. They're, oh. <laughs> Man, I need like a chaser. Oh god, it just hit me. <laughs> it's like, ah, in your throat. Don't do this. Bad science. Bad science. Don't do it. So I'll know so, what we're going to do with this, but. In conclusion. Don't do this. <laughs> Worst thing you can do to a gummy bear is soak it in vodka. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a way to do it where I it like actually. Oh God. <laughs> Let's try one of these. Let's give that, it a go. That has the same taste. Well, not taste, but it's like the same after effect where the outside is gummy like and gelatinous. good. Gelatinous. Yes. Like like liquefied, but it's the inside good. is. It's hard. Like kind of firm. Yeah. Like it's. It's almost like it's. Like, like the, it's a like slimy outer coating. Yeah, you know like the icky part of Jello where it's like mm, yeah. the outside or like the top where it's like kind of hard. Oh, that, that one's even worse than I the red know, one. I told you it wasn't good. <laughs> bad, bad. Oh. <laughs> no, the red ones are better than that. <laughs> you have to try a red one. Oh crap! Oh, no, that's no, the no. worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. The red ones are not that bad. <laughs> I can't even eat this. Spit it. I was debating spitting mine out. You can spit it out. It's okay. All right. I'll try. I'll try it. one of these. Fun. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> she did it. All right. Yeah, these are way better, but they're okay. still bad. They're still bad, but the the pineapple ones are like the worst. Yeah, those red need is, to go like straight in the garbage because no. Red is a little more tolerable. That is terrible. <laughs> yeah, the red ones are not horrible. Oh my god. Gummy bears, people. Okay. Well, we're gonna go, but we needed to tell you. What happened to if the bears? If you're gonna vodka gummy bears, just do red ones. Yeah. Or not at all. Just drink the vodka. Mm-hmm. They're, they're still really bad. Yeah, they're not great. I don't know why it's not on. It's not great. We're gonna be done with that. Okay. Bad science. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> so Kristen, it's her first time at Chick-fil-A ever, and she's very excited. We were gonna go to Taco Bell, <laughs> but we have decided Chick-fil-A is where it's at. We'll do Taco Bell later. Yeah, we're gonna do Taco Bell later. Let's be it, real. <laughs> so she's very excited, and I got my grilled chicken nuggets, which I love, and she got like the original, original, and then Chick-fil-A sauce, because it's amazing. So we're gonna eat this now. Step stool. Kristen's gonna teach me how to reprogram this thing because she knows all the things and I clearly don't know I any of the things. I grew up with a mama who we called Bavila, <laughs> but we called her um, Ghetto Bavila because she basically jerry-rigged things. Oh, 
Well, there we go. She taught me how to do the fix things. things. We're gonna fix things. So anyway, I learned that when you um, change the battery, sometimes, sometimes you like need yes. to reprogram your exactly. thingy. So she might be murdering me. We're going into a dark room. Yes, we're going into a dark hole. I don't know where the light switch is. It's right here. Oh, oh the oil you're not coming with. Ah. So there's a little button up here that says program. Uh -huh. You hold it. You hold your button. Then what? What happens? You wait. Okay. I'm waiting. Oh, what's that? It should. It's wanting to go. I don't know. But that's what it always does. I know. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't work. But I think we found the culprit. I think I just need a new clicker because, you know. Hello, Amazon. Well, go to like, well, there's Menards here. So. Oh, I don't know, because we're in Minnesota. We're in Minnesota, don't you know? Um, so anyway, I'm gonna run to Menards at some point and get some more clickers. Just one. Just one clicker, you only need one. Well, I'd like to have more. 17. We're gonna get 17. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, I got a shredder today from Amazon. Ah. There's a little more black on this shredder, Emily, I know. than I would expect for an Emily purchase. Okay, so here's the deal. All the shredders that were white were like over a hundred dollars. This is the cheapest one I could find, and it's a swing line. It's in my Amazon shop. The link is below. But um, yeah, it's as good as I could get, guys. It was a good. You know, I'm a ball around a budget, y'all. We gotta do it. So, oh, um, and we're making uh, cupcakes today for a drunk bake with me. But that's gonna be in a different video. But. Um, we're gonna make some red velvet cupcakes. I think my mom's gonna come over at some point. Are we also be doing the question and answer in that video? We are gonna do that in that video. So there's gonna be a Q&A. &A. I think this video is gonna go up before that video is my plan, but plans change sometimes. Um, oh, I wanna show you guys something I got today. It's so freaking cute, right? Like a little thingamajig. I don't know, I like it. Home goods, it's amazing. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Well, I got a lot of other things. Yeah. Ooh, Kristen found this and like clearly needed to purchase. Ta-da! It's super cute. And we're gonna put it right there. So I think we're gonna do that right now because I've got Miss Bob Vila available. <laughs> I need light to hang this mirror, so I might have to work on that first. Well, maybe we need to go to Menards and get lights and get clickers. Menards. Okay, we're gonna go, we'll be back. Okay, so we went to Menards. Hi. And Bob Vila's up there, just lighting away, doing things. Removing. Yes, she's in the removal stages of things. She taught me all about LEDs, apparently. They're like the best things ever. They're didn't, good lights. Didn't know that, so we got an LED fixture. And uh, I get to show you guys in in the soonage. This is now gone. Yes. We took it down. Yes. Uh, not, we didn't do anything. You are doing the thing. I handed it to you. You helped. I Yeah, I did help. You can say you changed your light fixture. <laughs> She's teaching me. She's teaching me. So Look at that. So as I told you, a light fixture is two wires and a ground wire. And that's it. I did not know these things. It's super easy. I like dated an electrician for like a really long time. I feel like I should have known these things. So, well, now we're he gonna put up never the light. he never taught me anything apparently. Okay, she did it. It works. Look. Well, it's hard to see. Hold on, we're gonna turn it off for a second so you guys can see the loveliness. There you go. Um, boop. That's what I got. I got it from Menards. If I can find something similar, I'll link it below. But yeah, she knows how to do the things. If you would like to hire her. Don't. Don't hire her. <laughs> she runs on Taco Bell and Coca-Cola. Yeah, much. that's about it. But that took what, like 15 minutes? Like it wasn't Yeah. that. Like I said, your house is built newer, so your electrical boxes are already mounted into the ceiling. Yeah. I was saying in our old house that was built in the 50s, sometimes it's just wires that come out of the ceiling. So you actually have to mount into the ceiling somehow. Yeah. Or find a stud, which is a pain in the butt. Um, so newer houses, it's a little easier to do. I'm so excited. It looks so good. I don't think I've had ever, <laughs> I said, I don't think we've had ever this much light in the front entryway ever. And we went with the small one. Yeah, there was I think a the small one. one was, there was one that was 
This is a 12 inch diameter and then the other one was 20 inches. Yeah. So I mean the small one. I is, clearly have the space for it on the ceiling, but, but I, I think, think that this works. Is, it looks like this. That's what that's what was had by all. Here's the deal. I love my light, by the way. It's freaking awesome. Kristen is in the garage doing garage things. And I've swept out the garage because unfortunately we changed the light bulb and when she turned it, it like popped. So she got a little nick on her foot. So we had some blood in the house, but we're doing good, okay. And then now she's trying to look up on the internet how to program this specific garage door opener properly because apparently there's like nine steps and not like two steps like normal. So let's creep on her and see what's going on. I gave the vlog a rundown of what's been happening out here. I'm watching YouTube. Hit while that one time. For YouTube. Yes. So things have happened. We did a drunk bake with me, which will be up after this is up. But frosting was developed. Frosting was amazing. And Tripod. Powdered sugar. Yeah, we both are like Covered. super dirty. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. We made these. Beautiful. It's a little bit of a mess at the moment. It is very messy at the moment, but it was really good. We both had a. We all had a cupcake. Myself, Miss Kristen, and the favorite mama. And Doyle. And Doyle had a little bit a little of stuff. Um, and they're having fun in the garbage can. That's what we have done today, and um, I think I'm gonna close it out for today at least. But this is gonna, just gonna be one long run on a vlog. Um, we're going to the run to the Twins game, game tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh yeah. Be a great sign. Here's the sign so far, and we'll show you more tomorrow. So I'll see you then. We're at a baseball game, and I'm wearing my sports shirt because I don't know anything about sports. Sports. Someone made a sign, or told me what to make in a sign. And favorite mama's here too, so we're having fun. Watch out for flying balls. Yeah, <laughs> there's sporting things happening. I gotta clap now. I'll be back later. If there was ever a tour to heaven, this would be it. <laughs> right? <laughs> We are now entering Target downtown. Never been here before. This is a request from Miss Kristen. So we're gonna go here. And we're gonna check it all out. So we are back home from our Target adventures and Doyle is down there doing things. But Kristen has requested that I bring her some stuff. Not the ointment. She doesn't need the ointment. So <laughs> she doesn't need ointment right now. Maybe later. <laughs> Apparently she's a plumber too. So we went to Menards. Menards. And picked out a shower head. So she's gonna be replacing this shower head, that one that just came with the house, with another one that's like a, what, a Moen? It's a Moen something or other. I don't know. It is a Moen Ignite in brushed nickel. Cool. We're gonna go with it. We're going with it, guys. Anyway. That's what's going on here. What? Hey Doyle. Oh. What are you doing? Okay. So, we got pizza, and we are gonna have pizza for Din Din. It's her last night here, and she's reviewing the vlog footage at the moment that I have not. <laughs> she's cracking up, because she's like, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> so anyway, we got our signature pepperoni and mushroom. From the pizza pub. Which is delicious. And um, here's my shirt, by the way. Hooray sports, do the thing, win the points. I've gotten a couple questions about my shirt today. It's good, it's a good shirt. Why is the pizza cut funny? Um, Cause that's how they cut it, oh. apparently. I don't know. That's a very thin crust, cut funny pizza. Yeah. Oh look. Well, look you at, know who that's for, right? Look at my slice. Oh, Doyle! Oh, Doyle! You want a pizza? A pizza pie? Get it. Mm. Oh, yeah! What? 
He's like, I gotta check it out first. <laughs> Just gotta make sure. He had to make sure it wasn't poisonous, you know. So anyway, we are going to eat our pizza and hang out. And I uh, had a great time, at, a great time, great time at the game. Uh, went to Tarjay and we went to two Tarjays. Two Tarjays. I think I only vlogged one Tarjay. Yeah, I have a new shower head now, thanks to Bob Vila over here. So, yeah. But um, that might be the night. I don't know. This is all gonna go into one big video, I think. But um, I'll see you guys tomorrow if I don't see you later on today. Aw, look at these two cuties. He did not like me saying goodbye. No, he doesn't like to be held, but that's all right. He's tolerating it. It's better for him. Right, buddy? Aw. Little shibi snugs. He's a good boy. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. miss him. <laughs> and she has to get a nice coating of Doyle fur on her body before she travels. Well, Misa and Zaki will be mad at me if I don't come home soon. Uh, right? <laughs> okay, so we are off to Mall of America because Mall of America is basically right next to the airport. So we're gonna go there, have some lunch, walk around, and uh, even get more sore than we already are because we have done all the walking. <laughs> So much walking. So much walking, like, ah! Uh, so yeah, but anyway, um, I will probably take you around Mall of America a little bit and show you what we're doing. So we are lunching at Crave and I got a mountain, like a literal mountain of nachos with everything on the side because no time was coming, exactly. And then you got a wrap. Um, it's a chicken and brie sandwich. All right. On some sort of flat bread. Cool. Well, we're gonna eat this now. Kristen's making me go on a roller coaster. It's slow and does not go upside down. But I'm still scared a little, so I don't know, I'll show you guys what I, if I can. Help me. <laughs> She's been waiting for this. It happened. It was amazing. It was horrible. I don't know what you're talking about. It was bad. It was a gentle it was, little roller coaster. It was not gentle. I kept screaming, this is not gentle. There was like there was like five year olds in the ride. There was, but come on. I'm scared of everything. Alright, so Chrissy Poo is leaving me. I'm sad. sad. Her. Had an emotional goodbye with Doyle this morning. Yes, more emotional on this end than Doyle's end. But he's a Sheba, he's indifferent. Yeah. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about life. Anyway. Alright. Oh, it's the best hostess ever. I have like four and a half pounds of gummy bears left over. Yep, and we had a lot of lucky charms, so it all worked out. But all right, see you later, vlog. All right, so I am still in the car from dropping Kristen off. So I'm just gonna like close out the vlog really quick here. So oh, anyway, it was really fun having Kristen in town. I hope she enjoyed Minnesota. It was, she said it was like so relaxing. So I hope that's a good thing. But also, she didn't have to like keep her child alive. So anyways, um, here I'm gonna talk a little bit more this way hey but um, I'm gonna go home now I start work tomorrow which you guys already know because tomorrow I'm posting a video talking all about going to work so yeah um, but I'm gonna get this video uploaded a little later in the week and have this uploaded for you guys so you guys can see all the fun things that we got to do um, I decided in this vlog and um, I didn't really say it in the beginning of the vlog but I made a decision to just really enjoy my time with my friend and uh, my mom was in some of the vlog as well but just really wanted to like enjoy my time with my friend and just kind of have the experience together versus always whipping out my camera so you're just gonna see like little like obviously you've already seen it because this is the last part of the vlog but just having like little snippets of what we've been doing and things like that so when it was like fun to take out the vlog I did but um, clearly we did other things too but it was just kind of fun to show Kristen around and so much fun to have her so next time I'll probably have to go to Boston so yeah but thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it if you like the video and vlogging make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe I'll do some more vlogs in the future. You never know. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs>